All right, now what if you want to pass an object here? Instead of a, like this, right? What if you want to pass an object, all right? And you want TypeScript to be able to understand that object and to be able to say if that object has the correct types, all right? So for example, what if I do something like this and I do person, all right? And I will say, I will do the same things basically. I will do person name and name, let's do Nicolas, gender, let's do male, and age, let's do 22, all right? So this will be person, okay? So what if I wanna pass person like this? Like this, person. It wouldn't work, because it says that it expects three arguments, but it got one. And most of the time, what you want to do is that you want to pass an object to a function and the function is going to do something with that object. So what I'm gonna show you now is how you can create something called an interface, all right? And an interface, we're gonna create it here. Interface, all right? And I'm gonna say interface human. And I'm gonna say, let me just put this on top, all right, human. And I'm gonna say here name string age. This will be a number. Alright, and gender string as well. Alright, so here what I can do instead of passing each argument separately, I can say that I want a human or a person, whatever that is. And the type is human. Alright, and now this magically works because. TypeScript is going to check that person, right, has the same structure as the interface human, all right? This is how you can describe your own, your own objects. This is not going to go to JavaScript, right? Everything that we have done so far, as you can see here, everything goes to JavaScript, except, except the interface. The interface is not going to go to JavaScript, all right? This is gonna stay on TypeScript. And now here, of course, I have a problem. So I'm gonna say person, that name and as you can see as soon as I invoke person because I have the interface related to the function you can see that I have age gender and number property there to select this is how Visual Studio is helping me develop TypeScript as you can see it's something super handy to have because I know the type and I know the property that I'm looking for all right so this will be name I will do the same thing person that this will be age and also person that and this will be gender all right and now if i run this again or i believe this is already running yep the same thing same thing nothing different i say hi to person person name person name whatever and as you can see here still working but now my objects are more predictable all right now i have an interface that i know that i can use many places. So for example, when we do the blockchain, we might do a block as an interface. Maybe we, should, we, we won't because the interface stays on TypeScript. It doesn't go all the way to JavaScript. But for example, you could do um, something like a blockchain and you define the block as an interface, right? With all descriptions of what he's going to have, for example, all right? Uh, that's it for this video. This is interface, it's very short. I think that the power of TypeScript is not when you um, see it, like it's not when we use it like this with a dumb example. I think the power of JavaScript comes, the, the, of TypeScript comes when we actually realize, uh, oh, this actually helped me, all right? So I think the examples are going to stop soon and then we're gonna go on and do the blockchain because this is when you're gonna realize how, um, how much it makes your life easier. See you on the next one.